Welcome to Analytic Yena's video tutorial series on elemental analysis of edible oils and fats by ICP OES. You're watching the second episode, giving insights on device configuration. Make sure to check out the other episodes as well on our Analytic Yena YouTube channel. Before we begin the measurement, let's take a closer look at the instrument configuration for measuring oils from organic dilution. Let's start with the sample introduction system of the ICP OES, which is in this case adapted for oil analysis. For this type of application, it is important that the torch is equipped with an injector with a small inner diameter of 1 mm. We recommend a double pass cyclonic spray chamber, which is ideal to control the sample aspiration of oils and organic samples into the plasma. For the analysis of highly viscous oils, we use a 1 mL per minute microcrocentric nebulizer. For lower viscosity oils, we can also use a 0.4 mL per minute nebulizer. The pump tubing material needs to be resistant against the solvent that is used for the sample preparation. A good resistance against most common solvents is provided by either solvent flex or Viton. And today we use Viton as a pump tubing material. Automation of the analysis is possible by using the Teledyne CTEC Oil 7400 auto sampler with dedicated features for the analysis of oils. For the analysis today, we use a Plasma Grant 9100 Elite ICP OES. While the system is initializing, we will select the correct method and have a brief look on some important method parameters. After igniting the plasma, the system needs about five minutes to be ready for the first measurement. So let's use this time to have a brief look at some important method settings for oil analysis. One important setting is the RF power. The gas flows, and in particular the plasma gas flow, should be set sufficiently high in order to prevent overheating of the torch material. The correct plasma observation mode should be selected with axial plasma observation for trace elements and radial plasma observation for higher concentrations in the PPM range. In oil analysis, it is advised to increase the auxiliary gas flow to increase the distance between injector tip and hot plasma zone as far as possible to avoid any carbon deposition on the tip of the injector. In addition, the nebulizer gas flow as well as the pump rate are set lower in comparison to a standard aqueous method. We do it to reduce the aspiration of organic sample material into the plasma. Pump rate as well as the nebulizer gas flow depend on the used nebulizer type. The analysis of organic samples bears the risk of carbon deposits on the injector tip. There are two possibilities to prevent these effects. The first option is to add oxygen gas to the argon plasma to oxidize the carbon from the sample material. For this purpose, an oxygen flow rate can be set as a method parameter. The second possibility is to lower the torch position so the injector is slightly below the hot zone of the plasma. So possible carbon deposits are reduced to a minimum even without the addition of oxygen. 